Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel of Power Green Software. My name is Gary Greenan, I am a Chartered Quantity Surveyor and I've been using Bluebeam Review for over five years now. We hope you find these videos useful and interesting. And don't forget to click on the link at the very end of each video where you can visit our website and download a full 30 day working trial of Bluebeam Review with no obligations to buy. Okay, this is a real quick, simple video just to show you how you can take off steel reinforcement very quickly using Bluebeam Review. Now here I have a sample bar bending schedule um, and they always come like this as a standard convention and there can be up to hundreds of pages like this and they can all be uh, set out by maybe Sometimes they're done by beam, so you might have a ground beam and it was a certain reference. There might be all the reinforcement per ground beam or per slab. And usually the engineers send them out by PDF and more often than not they've got a package in their own office which have actually produced these in a table format or sometimes they're done in Excel. But anyway, it doesn't matter. If they're like this, we can just go along to our um, Bluebeam review. We can go up to file click on export go all the way down here to export to excel full document and in this case doesn't really matter because it's one page anyway but we could select sections of that drawing on that schedule rather it's full document save it as excel and it starts to produce an excel spreadsheet for us so once that's done i'm doing this in real time as well we get this as a result let me just open that up, okay, and I'll just make this a bit better and easier to read. So here we have now that schedule in Excel. So to weight the steel, we know this is in millimeters, so we can change this. So let's do this, um, let's order this into all the same bars. So put a filter on, and I'll click order B10. So that's all the 10 mil bars. So if I go along here and I make a weight kg per meter, and if I don't know that, I can go to a website like this and I can find it online. So that is 0.62 kg per meter. Go back over here, 0.62, and that's all of those. So uh, let's do the next one, uh, B16. Let's go to the uh, sheet again, B16, that's 1.58 kg per meter. So 1.58, and I'm doing this in real time now. I'm not stopping and pausing and, and uh, making it look quicker than I'm doing it. Let's do the B20s, untick that. Go back to the website and see what, uh, 20 mil is 2.47. Let's bang that in, 2.47. Copy that all the way down to there. Right. Uh, let's turn that filter off again okay so that's all the steel right so let's work put a formula in here so all we're interested in is this column here as it says there's five number of a b20 mil bar 1.9 long okay and that's the shape code and that looks that tells you the dimensions of the shape so 1.6 1.615 meters then it bends 330 mil and that gives it that length so let's say here we call this uh, total length meters and it's bang our formula I'm going to say equals that times that I'm going to put that in a bracket right oops hang about slow down put that in a bracket and then we'll divide that by a thousand to convert that into meters. Done. And I'm just going to copy that formula all the way down here. Don't worry about the zeros, there'll be a few zeros and a few blank lines. I can get rid of those really quickly by just going like that, selecting the zeros, and I can just take all them out. I'm doing this in real time now, I'm not cheating now. Okay, so that's my weight, which is my standard. I'll make that nice color there that's my total length so all I got to do is get my tonnage 
another formula and let's put this in here so ton equals that times that divided by a thousand because I'm going to move from kilograms to tons and I bring all that formula down again I know I'm going to get some zeros I'll delete those in a second okay let's drop again I'll do that quickly uh, data filter pick the zeros and delete them out uh, I said delete okay I take off the filter again so there you go and if I want to total it all up uh, where's my total here we go so that's it so let's just recap I went to my review got my bar bending schedule converted it into Excel got this sheet I then went online or in my manual or wherever I might have some reference details I got the weight the kg weight per meter for all the different types of rebar I have in this schedule so there's the diameters I then got the total length of rebar which is the number of bars by the length of each bar gives me that I then convert it into tons by saying this equals the total uh, length of rebar multiplied by the weight of well, weight kg per meter and then I divided by a thousand to get done done you can do that as many times as you want because of many cheats you have so that took six minutes odd to do hope that helps many thanks